Hello everyone, I'm just making this video in response to the previous tutorial where we covered setting up a new Rails uh, React application by running this command right here. So we created the uh, Rails new React demo hyphen hyphen webpack equals React. And someone asked if it's possible to add React into an existing application where you don't have this flag set. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I'll see you on the other side of this uh, Rails app installing. Okay, so now that we have this set up, let's go ahead and let's generate our scaffold. So we'll type Rails G scaffold article, and we'll give each article a title of type uh, string by default and a body of type text, just so we have something to work with there. Uh, I ran into an error here. Is this a spring problem? It probably is. Let's just type spring stop, and then let's run the Rails G scaffold command again. Uh, so once that is set up, the next thing we can do is come over to our app, uh, JavaScript packs application.js and if we run the uh, rails G and I can't remember what the command is but if you go to Google and you find just one of the articles you should be able to find it fairly quickly so you want to run rails webpacker colon install colon react and you don't need the second bit about the yarn install because it will run the yarn installer right here for you and while this is running, we're going to go over to our app JavaScripts folder and create a new folder and we'll call this components. And then inside of the components folder, we'll create the app.js file. And then inside of the app.js file, all we want to do is say uh, import react and component from, and then oops, uh, single quotes react. Then we can come down here and type class app extends component. And then we'll say render return. And then we'll just return a div that says, hello world, this is your app speaking. Okay, so once that's done, we can, uh, oh, at the bottom, we do need to export default app. We can then come over to our hello react.jsx file and we can get rid of this. Well, I guess we'll leave the prop types for now. Uh, so the first thing that you'll see in here is that you have these comments that say run this example by adding this JavaScript pack tag, uh, hello react to the head of your layout file. And the example it gives you is a specific, or is just your uh, application.html.erb file. But what we can do instead is we can come into our views, articles, and the index page, and we'll just throw in a, or we'll throw in the JavaScript pack tag up here. We'll save the file. We'll come back to our app.js. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll come back to our hello react.jsx. Uh, and then we can start, or we'll do a Rails db colon migrate command to migrate the database. And then we'll also do a Rails s command to start the server. And once that's done, I will see you on the other side. Okay, so once we're here, uh, we can go to slash articles. So localhost port 3000 slash articles, or you can come into your config and routes.rb, and we can just say root is uh, the articles controller index action. And then we can also just come here. Uh, and you'll see right here, it says articles with a title and a body. You have the new article link. And then at the very bottom, you have this hello react that we just added inside of our index.html.erb uh, with this JavaScript pack tag. And then if we come into our hello react right here, you can see that it's creating the hello component with the name of react. And this is overriding the default props name of David. So if we get rid of this, save it and refresh the page, uh, you'll see that Webpacker does have to recompile it, but right now it will change to Hello David. Um, so what we can do is we can get rid of this prop types and we can get rid of all three of these. And instead we'll just say import app from dot dot slash components slash app, save this and we'll change this hello to app. And we'll come back over here and we'll refresh the page. And you'll see that here it says, hello world. This is your app speaking, which is what we put inside of our app.js file. So that's going to do it for this video. It was just a quick one just to show how you could add this to an existing application. Um, I know that the articles scaffold really didn't matter. It was just a way to, you know, have something so you can see how you run this without running um, the 
uh, Webpacker flag at the start of the Rails generation. But hopefully this helped. Um, if it did, remember to like it. And if this video didn't help, then remember to dislike it because we don't want to subject other people to this. Uh, you know, make the good tutorials rank first and make the bad ones rank last so that you don't find them when you search. But uh, that's going to do it for me, and I will see you in the next video, which should be part one of the week two 20 in 20 challenge for building a Rails application. But for now, goodbye.